I want to show you guys a new feature. When you have two of the Gen 3 wall connectors, you can configure them for power sharing now. It's a feature Tesla recently released without any mention. We have each of them on separate breakers. They're able to pull 48 amps each. So let this one go all the way up. Now uh, that's all the way over at 48 amps, I'm going to go plug in the other car. Pardon the messy garage. Can you open your charge port for me? Now the chargers are going to load share, they're going to limit to 24 amps. But they can change dynamically if one car has a significantly lower state of charge than the other. My car is currently requesting more power than this car. So this one's getting 22 amps, the other one's getting 26 amps. Let me take you over and show you that right quick. Now this is a feature that is in a software version for these chargers that your charger will not automatically download. You have to manually go in and update the firmware on both chargers. Once you've done that, you have to set one of them as the master and then you add the other chargers to that one. You have to have the Wi-Fi data for both of them because one charger connects to the other one with Wi-Fi. And that way if you don't have enough power in your garage to fully support 48 amps per charger, you can charge both cars at the same time. But if you're only charging one, you'll still get full speed. It's a feature Tesla has been promising for years and finally imp implemented it with absolutely no word. I found nothing on any other site saying that this was active now. That's all.